Hi guys, my name is Michael from MaxIT. Some of you may know me from the forums or from GitHub. My nick there is my Gmail. And today I want to highlight some changes in the latest release 20.7. First of all, a cosmetic one where the sort link was changed to alphabetic ordering, like uh, we can see in the firewall menu. The rules, for example, is not on the second place anymore. It's just sorted. The only exception is locks and diagnostics, which is always at the bottom. Then also the virtual IPs from the firewall section move to the interface section, which totally makes sense since this is a, an interface configuration and had nothing to do with the firewall section. And while we're here in the interface section in diagnostics, we have now Netstat and with Netstat we get all the statistics uh, from the interfaces, like uh, here when you check the LAN interface, you can see the packets traverse through this interface and we have a small update button here and you can see the counters run up. Also, check the socket section, you can see active TCP connections to the firewall. So who's connected or let's say protocol. You can see all TCP statistics, for example, um, all packets, sent through the firewall, received from the firewall, and so on. Just get familiar with it. You have plenty of data here, and some of them might help you diagnosing problems uh, if you encounter some of them. Then, on WireGuard VPN, we just removed the beta warning, so you can consider WireGuard as a stable VPN, the software itself, and also the plugin. What's next? The Unbound Plus plugin is now moved to course, so or when you have a fresh installation of OpenSense, just go to Unbound and you will have here a new blacklist submenu where you can add the lists you need, or you can also add your own ones or public ones which are not in the list. Also, there is a MISC submenu where you can run DNS over TLS natively, so you don't need a plugin anymore. Right after Unbound, uh, we have the web proxy where you can now set custom error pages instead of the squid native ones, or you can also use yeah, the, the OpenSense theme for the custom ones. Now you have here a new tab and no, it's not this one. You can download the error pages, edit them, and then just upload them again. Also, the Zabbix proxy was updated to version 5. And when talking about version 5, also the intrusion detection, Suricada, was updated from version 4 to version 5. What does that mean? Big change, big performance improvements. Now we have more pattern matches. So if you're on latest Intel hardware, just always use Hyperscan. Um, if you're on other hardware, you have now the AO Corosic and the Can Steel variant, which is the most performant. If you check the advanced mode, you now have uh, detection profiles where the higher the number, the more RAM you save. So if you have a system with less RAM, then you should check the high profile. When it comes to the rules, you now have a cool filter. So let's say uh, only display me display um, rules about Adobe stuff, Adobe Flash. It's like, um, it's like from the firewall lock, view, lock viewer where you can now filter most, most of the stuff and it's the same as here. So you can just filter for these rules. Then we have the firewall API plugin is now in stable. So not a visible change, but I'm quite sure the more and more people are development, developing central management solutions. Since now it totally makes sense when you can also deploy central firewall rules. The 
biggest change for me is in the logging where you now can disable the circular logs. The circular logs had a fixed size. So let's say mm, the system log can always be one megabyte and not anymore and old logs will be removed. So it's always one megabyte, which is a bit hard to diagnose problems. Let's say you have a, a huge port scan and many, 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 many logs. So you will only see the latest 10 minutes or five minutes or only one minutes of block packets. And when you disable the circular logs, you, a folder gets created, you will switch to text login and a file for every day gets created. So you can also say, um, preserve the logs for let's say 60 days. And then you are sure no matter how big your log files are, you, they will be saved for 60 days. And what's next? So on the operating system side, we have dropped support for 32-bit architecture and the new focus is on ARM, but uh, no official builds available. There, are, there is small progress from the community, so stay tuned, maybe there will be a test, a test image soon. And also hardened BSD updated from 11.2 to 12.1. So there is no chain chance to roll back via open sense revert tool or similar. So make backups, make snapshots, make a recovery plan uh, since you can't revert from it. We also have a couple of reports about performance issues regarding to NetMap and throughput. So on the on, on fast hardware with, with with the newest with the newest uh, network module models modules there is no impact but some guys are reporting a bit performance problems but we will fix them okay folks that's it for today if you like the idea about releasing videos for release notes just give this a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel bye